Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be discussing which one is better to receive payments online, Stripe or PayPal. As you may know, these are two of the most popular payment processing platforms available right now. And no matter what size business you have, you likely need an efficient way to accept payments whether you're selling products and services online or in person. So this is a key decision that you will need to make when starting your business. Both platforms have their pros and cons depending on your business model, technical skills, and other factors. And in this video, I'll be breaking down exactly how PayPal and Stripe compare on key aspects such as pricing, features, and ease of use. And starting with PayPal, chances are you're already familiar with this one. They've been around since the early days of online payments, and for a long time, PayPal was really the only mainstream option for processing the transactions online. When you sign up for a PayPal business account, some of the key services that you get access to include online checkout capabilities, you can easily accept payments on your website, invoicing as well as it creates and sends professional digital invoices. You will also be getting a virtual terminal where you take payments over the phone or through a portal and PayPal commerce platform to unify online and offline sales. Now one major benefit with PayPal is the ability to offer a PayPal credit as a payment option for customers. When shoppers use PayPal credit, their purchase is essentially financed by PayPal and they have 6 months deferred interest to pay it off. This can help increase average order value and conversion rates and PayPal handles collecting the payments, so there is very little risk for your business. Overall, PayPal is likely better suited for smaller businesses and those just getting started accepting payments online, it's generally considered more beginner friendly compared to Stripe. Another key advantages of PayPal include the huge existing user base, many customers already have PayPal accounts and are familiar with using it, the quick and easy setup, be accepting payments within minutes, and the ability to accept credit card payments without a merchant account. So in summary, PayPal is a great choice if you want a payment solution that's easy to get and to set up quickly. It has little to no learning curve and leverages the power of an established brand that your customers are probably already familiar with. Now let's see how Stripe compares. Stripe is another popular payment processing platform but one that's focused exclusively on online businesses. So unlike PayPal, Stripe does not offer any point of sale or in-person solutions. Instead, it is tailored entirely for e-commerce merchants, platforms accepting recurring payments and other digital business models. Some of Stripe's core products include payment processing, billing and invoicing, checkout page builder, you will have payment gateways, fraud protection and dispute management, and business analytics. One major difference between Stripe and PayPal is the extensive developer tools and integration options. Stripe provides SDKs, APIs, webhooks, and documentation for deeply customizing the payment experience across platforms. So if you want complete control over your checkout process or need to build payment acceptance into a mobile app or software platform, then Stripe gives you tremendous flexibility. Unlike PayPal, Stripe is definitely more suited to larger, more established businesses, especially those selling at higher volumes. And some reasons you may choose Stripe over PayPal yourself include advanced features for growth stage e-commerce companies, the customizable checkouts using Stripe elements and APIs, you will have the ability to smoothly transition from small to large volumes, and lower risk of sudden account freezes or restrictions. However, one obvious downside of Stripe compared to PayPal is the increased complexity. Stripe is not as much of a plug and play solution out of the box, so expect a bit more work especially on the development front to fully integrate Stripe. However, if you want a modern scalable payments infrastructure with greater long-term flexibility built for serious online merchants, then Stripe is a top choice to consider. Now that we know a little bit more about both platforms, we can compare some key factors to help you choose between PayPal or Stripe. So next, let's compare the pricing. How much does each one cost? One of the most important factors when choosing a payment processor is how much it will cost your business. So let's break down PayPal and Stripe's pricing models. The pricing for PayPal and Stripe is fairly similar at a high level. Both charge around 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction for online payments. However, the exact fees can vary significantly based on the payment method. So cards, bank transfers, and proprietary options like PayPal credit all have different rates. Also the sales volume, higher volume merchants pay less percentage on sliding scales, the business type, e-commerce, services, non-profits, etc. have varied pricing. And finally, the add-on services. So additional fees for disputes, chargebacks, foreign transactions. PayPal does charge slightly higher fees for proprietary services like PayPal credit at around 4.4% plus fixed fee. 
and transactions in person with PayPal cost dependently on the location. Stripe's pricing is a bit more consistent across the board. You can take a look at the Stripe fees right here and one advantage for Stripe is that there are no monthly fees. With PayPal, you may pay $5 to $30 per month depending on the account type, whereas Stripe does not charge any monthly fees. For high volume merchants, both Stripe and PayPal offer custom pricing plans with discounted rates, but you will need to discuss specifics with their sales teams. Overall, PayPal and Stripe costs are pretty competitive. Stripe has slightly lower rates for online credit card transactions, but PayPal can potentially be cheaper for priority payments like PayPal credit you really need to evaluate your specific business model. For most smaller businesses, the pricing difference is negligible. So choosing based on the features and the ease of use is more important, but large e-commerce sites may save more with Stripe's volume discounts. Another important concern to cover is account stability. One massive concern merchants sometimes have with PayPal compared to Stripe is account stability. Because PayPal also operates as a consumer platform, their fraud detection can be very sensitive. It is not uncommon for PayPal to freeze funds or terminate accounts with little warning if you trigger their risk sensors. This can be very stressful for merchants relying on PayPal payments flowing smoothly. Stripe, on the other hand, is dedicated to businesses only. They offer much more accountability and support for getting issues resolved quickly, so your account is less likely to be unexpectedly frozen or banned. So especially for established e-commerce businesses playing by the rules, Stripe provides a very merchant-friendly and reliable experience, but PayPal waits to filter out the banned actors later, which can cause problems. So in summary, both Stripe and PayPal are excellent payment processing solutions, but each has strengths and weaknesses that make it more suitable depending on your business. PayPal is likely the better option for quick setup, low monthly fees, branded trust, and supporting small-scale, long-tail merchants. However, Stripe may be preferable for advanced customization, larger sales volume, or businesses with more complex billing that require flexible API capabilities. I hope that this kind of detailed feature-by-feature -feature comparison provided everything you need to decide between Stripe versus PayPal. Let us know in the comments if you have any other specific questions, we'll be happy to help and provide insights. Though if you found this video to be helpful or even enjoyable to watch, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content similar to this one.